AI is absolutely going to change everything. I have something to show you guys today that is so mind-blowing and so exciting and completely uncalled for. I did not expect this to happen. But here we are, and here I am making a video about it for you. First of all, the past few weeks in AI have been crazy. I mean, really big stuff. Midjourney V5, GPT-4, and now this. This is just as big of an announcement, trust me. And if you can't tell, I'm pretty excited about it. This is the kind of stuff that gets me really excited for AI technology and really shows off the capabilities of how powerful it can be and really... Like I always say, bring power back into the people, so to speak, giving anyone the capabilities to create anything they want. I love creative stuff, and I think of myself as kind of a creative person. This is definitely a tool that I'm going to be messing around with. And here it is. This is Runway.com. You guys might remember Runway. Essentially, they create a bunch of different AI tools, and they're very good at it. You might remember them from this video I did a while back, about a month ago, where they showed off their new AI video generation product. And that was called Gen 1, but now it's evolved into Gen 2. So this is the next step forward for generative AI. With Gen 2 now, AI text-to-video generation is possible, and this is huge. Of course, we've known about text-to-image generators for a while now, and they've been blowing up in the past year and a half or so. Things like Midjourney, Dolly 2, and Stable Diffusion come to mind, where beautiful images were generated just with a text prompt, and now Runway ML Research is trying to bring that into video with Gen 2, and we're going to talk about the other text-to-video applications that have happened so far in the AI space, and actually there is a text-to- video generator that you can use for free right now too and we're going to be mentioning that but yes gen 2 is huge i'm gonna let them do the talking here with their little demo video so here's their video showing off gen 2 this is like their little advertisement not too long ago runway pushed the boundaries of generative ai with gen 1 a video to video model that allows you to use words and images to generate new videos out of existing ones in the weeks since launching, the model has constantly gotten better. Better temporal consistency, better fidelity, better results. And as more and more people gained access, we unlocked entirely new use cases and displays of creativity. And today, we're excited to announce our biggest unlock yet. Text to video with Gen 2. Now you can generate a video with nothing but words. Mind no driving stuff. video, no input image. Gen 2 represents yet another major research milestone and another monumental step forward for generative AI. With Gen 2, anyone, anywhere can suddenly realize entire worlds, so animations, cool. stories, anything you can imagine. Gen 2, coming very soon to RunwayML.com. Yeah, so that's their little advertisement. It's pretty cool. I like the uh, music and the hype they have behind this. It's very exciting. Here is their web page about it. Essentially, this is a multimodal AI system that can generate novel videos with text, images, or video clips. So if you remember, Gen 1 had the ability to submit your own video footage, and essentially it could use that and AI morph it into whatever prompt you imagined. And you can also like overlay images on top of video with Gen 1. But Gen 2 allows for straight up text to video generation, meaning you don't have to do anything any kind of video recording previously to set up a scene or anything like that it's just i want to see this and boom it pops in there in real life it is such crazy technology i mean people are going to be able to create movies just sitting at home in their computer in the future it is going to be awesome i'm so excited for this technology and like i said i'm actually going to show you guys a very similar model to this one that you can use for free at home right now anyways let's take a look at their website here no lights no camera all action realistically and consistently synthesize brand new videos either by applying the composition and style of an image which again we saw with gen 1 or using nothing but words which is of course text to video it's like filming something new without filming anything at all mind-blowing that it's even possible but i guess it shouldn't be so mind-blowing when stuff like text to image already exists where you can make images now with midjourney v5 that literally look like they were taken on a real camera they're like flawless so the future is going to be wild 
So this is aerial drone footage of a mountain range, and that was what the prompt was. It's a very simple prompt, nothing too complex, no 4K cinematic or anything like that. And it actually gives you a nice, like, panning aerial drone footage. It's actually very characteristic of what aerial drone footage is. Usually it's very smooth and it pans slowly. It's not like, you know, handheld looking or anything like that. So it shows you that the AI model under the hood here is absolutely able to understand the different cinematic styles and different different camera styles that we typically see with filmmaking and that's really really cool and I love this right here bringing the magic back to making movies making movies and making films almost seems like a lost art nowadays especially with the advent of YouTube I mean I'm a YouTuber but I feel like the internet in some ways has killed that art of filmmaking and less and less people go to the movies and movies lately have been getting worse and worse in my opinion my, one of my hopes for the future of this technology is that really creative people are finally going to be able to use tools such as Gen 2 to bring their imaginative ideas to life and we're going to start seeing brand new content that has a lot of soul to it and a lot of really crazy awesome creativity and it's not so corporate and bland anyways that was a little rant there so yes model 01 is text to video synthesized videos in any style this one actually looks shockingly realistic i have to say this is a very very coherent generation there it's very stable too you'll notice that Things aren't really moving around too much, and that is obviously one of the shortcomings of these AI models so far that Runway has been really trying to conquer. Is try, how do we make this like a stable image that doesn't move around and adjust a ton? Because, of course, when you generate with stable diffusion, let's say, every image is going to look different whenever you generate it. This one, they're trying to generate multiple images in a row and make them cohesive. And that is definitely demonstrated with this. I mean, there's obviously a little bit of manipulation and movement that's going down here with the plants and you know maybe there's like a little bit of smoke you can see in the New York air here but that's not entirely abnormal and the sun flare actually looks really realistic I like that it's like shining through it feels very cinematic anyways the prompt for this one was the late afternoon sun peeking through the window of a New York City loft and yeah that's exactly what's depicted here as I said it's a coherent image for sure the sun's poking through Definitely is in a city, definitely a loft, and I love all the plants sitting on the windsill as well. And the way that the light is reflected and refracted across the image, it's a very cinematic and beautiful shot. And that cinematicness is something that I hope they carry over into this model over time. We see it with stuff like Mid Journey that I have pulled up here, where a lot of these images are very artistic, and Mid Journey kind of implies this style into every generation to make sure it's unique and creative. And that's something I hope. Hope they have as a feature here with gen 2 and of course model number two here is text prompt plus an image to create a final video and we sort of had this with gen 1 when we were testing that out the gen 1 beta allowed you to upload a video and then add a text prompt and it would try to generate a final video result based off of this but as you can see there's an input in here and then a text prompt and it actually works shockingly well with this it's able to continue this image or really pick up what uh, the main important details of this are and then also apply what is going on with the text here obviously it's based off of this image the two people in the image look very similar the actual background blur is also very similar the prompt here was a low angle shot which is also a little bit more lower angle in this final generation in comparison to the input image walking down the street he definitely looks like he could be walking down the road although the background isn't really moving at all illuminated by neon signs yeah it looks like it could be bars and different neon signs and stuff so it's actually very very close to the prompt and it's doing a pretty good job here of taking this input image gathering the data applying the prompt and creating a final video this one really gets me excited as well. You can bring just photos to life, and that's just such a crazy, wild idea. I mean, think about all the old-fashioned, like, 1800s photos you can take and then actually just turn them into videos with technology such as this. So, yeah, we have an input image of the beach here. It's able to infer quite a lot there. The buildings are pretty similar, but it's definitely not exactly the same image, but it has all of the same qualities of the original image. So, yeah, you can pretty much just take any photo you want and recreate a brand new video that has all of the same features of that photo yeah the clouds are very very quick in this uh, but the people are definitely walking around it's able to understand that these are people and the beach is moving a little bit here but i like to see that the buildings are 
pretty stable because that's a, that's an important thing that the model needs to be able to understand. And of course, we saw this with Gen 1 as well. This is the stylization. You can take an input video and apply an image here. And this is really what most of the messing around with Gen 1 was if you watch my original video i actually look at this exact same clip i did do some messing with this myself and it worked out pretty well it's able to infer all of the different aspects of this image and apply them to the video in a meaningful way the background is pretty stable in this as well and of course this might have actually been my favorite one of the bunch and this was storyboard where you can actually just use the prompts that are hanging around your room to recreate full scenes here such as a city with like a drone panning footage here but of course you probably could recreate this just with text as well and of course the masking here where you can take a full video mask out a certain part of it and completely adjust the final result here we also saw this with gen 1 you can pretty much fully render out like a basic 3d video clip so you don't actually have to texture or light any kind of 3d animation that you're creating you can just let gen 1 do the whole thing and it worked out i saw a lot of examples of this in our first gen 1 video you can actually train the model to understand a particular character in this example very well and apply a video right to it so it's a little bit more customizable and again Runway is trying to give you all the tools you need to do creating fully using AI like AI is fully doing all the heavy lifting for you and it's really really exciting and cool that they're trying to do this no one else is this far yet. And yeah, they finish off here saying a new era for motion and pictures. Runway Research is dedicated to building the multimodal AI systems that will enable new forms of creativity. That's really what their focus here is. It's not on like, how can we make businesses function better? It's all about how do we empower creators and let them create new things that have never been able to be done before. So yeah, I do actually have a lot of respect for this company in that regard because those are some values that I also hold. And yeah, they also have a paper that I will link down below as well on this whole thing so yeah what's the release date on this well they don't give us a release date on the text to image yet but we can kind of make some assumptions gen 1 access and like the, the little beta testing of gen 1 was done through their discord server with a select handful of people that signed up to their waitlist so you can expect them to release a waitlist pretty soon and i will of course notify you viewers at home so get subscribed and i'll make a post about it for sure when they actually do offer a waitlist of course we will be showing you some free text to video generation in this video so this is model scope text to video synthesis on hugging face this is a completely free model for you guys to use here on hugging face it does take a long time to generate but if you actually duplicate the space here the generation time is much much shorter but essentially this is literally text to video and it's actually pretty good text to video all things considered especially considering it's pretty much free if you use it like this and it's only like a few cents per generation if you duplicate the space so you would do that by pressing duplicate space you obviously have to log in with a hugging face account then you literally just click this duplicate space button it will reopen the website here and then load up into something that looks a little bit like this but you actually need to change the gpu here in the settings so click on this a10g large and this will give you access to a better GPU to generate this text to video synthesis. It's only a 315 per hour of generation time. And you wanna make sure you go over here to the sleep time settings and do sleep after five minutes of inactivity or it might run up a bill. Anyway, so model scope text to video synthesis is a text to video generator model. And it's actually pretty decent for being like the first little sproutling of this technology. We've seen text to video in a few other places before and I'll talk about those to close out the video but we didn't really have access to them and we actually have complete free access to this on hugging face first prompt i'm going to try monkey surfing the waves cinematic and then i click the run button and it takes again about 20 seconds or so to generate a little low resolution three second clip so yeah the clips are very very short they're not super long they're not super coherent but it is better than nothing and it's actually not the worst sometimes it depends on the kind of prompt you're using and this surfing the waves one should be pretty decent based on my previous testing so yeah here's our little generation clip and you're also going to notice a lot of logos meaning that this research model was trained on like a bunch of stock shutter stock photos so here is our final result of course there's no audio i mean imagine one day when you have audio synthesis attached to this just generating the whole clip with audio anyways he definitely looks like he's surfing again it's a very very 
short clip that's only about a few frames long, but it's actually pretty decent quality. I mean, definitely looks like he's in the water, maybe not surfing, but the waves crashing look pretty good, and they honestly move consistently through the background in the way that you would expect waves to move. So it's not just complete blotchy mess of just pictures that slightly look like they match each other it's actually trying to animate something here and it's it's impressive it is definitely impressive and obviously not as impressive as gen 2 which we just looked at but we can use this now so you know worth checking it out and you can totally see the shutterstock logo in the background here but it's a it's a research model so this next prompt is a little bit more in depth i did help Someone filled my backyard with bananas. 4K panning motion. So we're looking maybe for a little bit more sharpness in our generation because of the 4K. And then also we want it to be panning across this guy's background with just bananas filled in his backyard. And we'll see how well the model uh, is able to attempt this. It's actually a pretty good model. Like it's it's not the best thing in comparison to like Mid Journey, let's say. Like Mid Journey produces these beautiful sharp images. But this is actually video and it generates in 24 seconds on average or so and it actually is pretty good at understanding what your prompts are. I have high hopes for this generation. Mm, this is not looking good. It looks like we're seeing some banana plants, but ooh, that's actually not too bad. So maybe someone planted bananas in my backyard. Those definitely actually look like bananas growing off of a banana plant, and it kind of is panning upwards, showing off some banana plants growing, and it looks actually like it's in the first person, which would signify this help. Someone filled my backyard with bananas, kind of a, a beginning of this prompt I did. So yeah, I guess that's pretty pretty accurate it's it's not perfect all right this next one was simply look how cute my new kitten is and this actually came out really well here you can see that's totally a kitten oh he's doing a little bit of transforming so he actually turns into a different kitten halfway through the video but definitely appears to be a kitten definitely looks like a home video inside of someone's house totally the shutterstock logo blatantly there at the bottom but um yeah i mean morphing transforming kitten a little frightening, but uh, he, I guess he's still cute. I mean, kittens are cute no matter what, even if they're transforming and morphing and uh, changing all the time, like some kind of horrible monster. Next up, GoPro footage, extreme sledding. All right, here, let's see how this turned out. Okay, definitely like a first-person perspective sledding through the trees. Not too bad. This is pretty accurate. I mean, again, this is the baby seeds of this technology. Obviously, Gen 2, we can expect to see better results when that stuff actually releases but so far so good with this model i mean this is this is the beginning this next prompt we're trying to get it to do a little bit more of a unconventional video generation so this is simply video footage boiling a computer something i don't think anyone's ever really done before is put a computer in boiling water Ooh, this did not turn out too well we see some random fire, and yeah, I just don't even know what's going on with this image at all. So yeah, it's it's not really the best. Some more simple prompts here. Walking down the streets of New York. I mean, this looks more like driving down the streets of New York, but this one's actually pretty consistent and pretty good. I like this generation. I think this one's a little bit better. I mean, the Shutterstock logo is quite literally in every single generation, which is crazy. It's definitely something they would have to remove if they wanted to continue this research model and update it. But this is a pretty good generation, I think. It is, this model is good at, like, simple stuff, very simple generations. The monkey surfing was a pretty cool result, I think. And, like, walking down the streets of New York, obviously, this is pretty simple. But once, you, once you start trying to do some really crazy stuff, like... A video of a computer being boiled in a pot of water, its it breaks down pretty quickly. All right, this one was Angry Birds in Real Life, and we have a bird that is doing something. I don't know, it's kind of phasing through reality here, and then this looks kind of cartoony, kind of Angry Birds-esque, but yeah, it's like real-life footage for sure. Um, and the background is actually really stable in this one, which is cool. But that bird is, I don't know exactly what it's doing. I guess it's probably angry because I would be angry if I was phasing in and out of reality too. This one was simply Minecraft. This kind of is throwing the model for a loop here because we're looking for like video game footage, not like actual real life footage. So that's another thing that these text to video models are going to have to learn to understand. There's a difference between like TV footage or, you know, animation versus like real life footage. The Minecraft game footage here is interesting to say the least. There's some consistency to it. It's definitely like blocky and it doesn't look like it's real, but yeah, it's it's definitely something. It's definitely something. It's 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 not getting it confused as far as I can tell. It's just not very coherent. 
Oh, fun fact, guys, you can also use this on collab, which again will be free as well. This one might be a little bit faster than the hugging face. But yeah, that is the model scope text to video synthesis. It's kind of like a free little model demo you can try out now. Obviously, Gen 2 is going to be a lot better than this. Google's potential video generation is going to be better than this, and so is Meta's. All the way back in October of last year, I talked about Google's Imogen video, which was like their AI video text generator. And of course, Google has this history with their AI technology of never releasing it or never letting anyone really try it out for themselves. So we never got to try this. But this is something I thought was worth mentioning here because it's really like... This is the future of text to video, for example. It, it really shows you what is possible. Very, very exciting technology. These are high resolution, actually up to 720p pretty much video generations. And they're high frame rate as well and very, very consistent. So yeah, this is the kind of technology we can expect out of Gen 2 pretty, pretty soon, maybe even this year, like later in the, in the year when Gen 2 gets updated enough and improved enough, we'll see stuff of this quality and people actually creating whole movies and YouTube videos and cool stuff like that. Keep that in mind. Everything we've looked at today has only been like short few second video clips. So what about longer form video? Because that's still something we got to talk about. Well, Google's also been doing some research into this one as well. This is realistic video generation from open domain textual description. So again, this is text to video, but actually a little bit longer. So this is all focused on like multi minute text to video generations, and they actually turn out pretty good from Google's examples they provided. Again, we don't have access for stuff like this, but I will link this down below if you guys want to take a look at, for example, this entire two minute generation and all of the prompts have been included. It's worth mentioning here because we haven't seen this yet from anyone else except for Google's research team, these long form multi minute video generations. And this one's pretty cool. It morphs throughout all these different prompts. You can see someone's riding a bike, then they're in a forest, going through someone's house, going to the backyard here, chasing a dog for a minute, then they see an elephant, and then it goes to a robot walking around, more running out uh, through houses, now we're flying over the ocean, seeing a cruise liner boat, maybe, and then we pop out onto like some deserted island here, and we're kind of flying away. So yeah, but you can see how cohesive and long this entire video clip is. We don't know if Gen 2 is going to allow for such long video generation yet. That still has yet to um, to be known. So they're probably still developing it. Maybe they don't even know yet. But uh, yeah, this is something that I want to see in the future and is probably one of my bigger worries about getting this text to video technology out maybe, let's say, within this year. Because I don't think we're going to get long form video generation this year. I could be wrong. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll be taking back those words. I hope I will because that would be really, really cool. But but this is this is some complex stuff like Google showing off here, creating these two minute stories. They don't even give us access to stuff like this. And still, this isn't the most high quality generations in the world. Like this footage that we're looking at here isn't necessarily the best looking of all time. It's actually not very coherent at all. So, yeah, this is still a little bit ways down the road, but it's the next step in AI art generation for sure is these videos. Got like some colorful eggs there, but if you go back. You can see he was coming off of the beach here and the surfing footage is just so cool looking. It really does look like a video of a penguin surfing. So this is super exciting as well. But again, Google never gave us access to any of this stuff, which is a little sad. But yeah, this was another honorable mention here of like long form video generation. Then we go to Meta's Make a Video finally. And again, we haven't got access to Meta's Make a Video. I mean, they're naming it Make a Video. That sounds like a real product. And you can see these guys are also doing video generation that looks almost as as good as Google's pretty much and they do want to release this one to us but I did talk about this in a previous video I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this they're also doing the same thing that Gen 2 is trying to do with taking a image and then completely turning it into video generation so yeah this technology has existed before but we haven't got access to it yet and Gen 2 is going to give us access to stuff such as this technology we've seen in the past. And yeah, they have a similar gallery to like image and video and all this again is short form video generation. None of what Meta's make doing here with make a video is long form video generation. So that's what I hope to see later this year. I don't think we're going to see it though. 
Anyways, viewers, that's your AI text to video generation recap or your AI video generation recap. I'm so excited for this technology and it really is worth sharing it. I'll link everything down in the description below. Gen 2 is truly going to change everything, especially with that text to video feature. I can't wait to get access to this and really try it out for ourselves. But yeah, thank you so much for watching viewers. Thank you for subscribing to the channel and liking all my content lately. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, stay tuned to the channel for more updates in the world of AI. I'll see you guys next time.